In this video, we'll show you how to troubleshoot flight fault events on Garmin G3000 or 5000 equipped citations. If your airplane has recently experienced a fault like a red or amber cast message and you don't know exactly why it happened, we're going to show you how to quickly bring up some diagnostics information on your center cockpit display after the plane is on the ground. The central maintenance system is really the best place to start when this happens because it tries to capture the indicated root cause of the event and additional helpful data. First, make sure that the maintenance SD card is installed in the top slot of the MFD before you power the airplane back up. If it's missing, check the pouch in your flight manual, but ideally this card should be left in the display all the time. After you've booted up, go to Home on one of your center touch screens Press Aircraft Systems, then Maintenance. Depending on the software level, you may have to enter a password at this point. You can find the password in Chapter 45 of the Aircraft Maintenance Manual. Sometimes it can take a little while to index stored CMC data after power on, so what we want to do is click on the CMC logs icons and wait till it shows files in the folders. In this case, it came up right away but if there are a lot of files in the memory, you might see 0 of 0 in each folder for a minute or two, during which time you won't be able to query any data. Okay, it looks good, so now we back out and press the CDMS Diagnostics icon. This will launch the CMC viewer on the center display, or MFD. Click the lower right knob on the touchscreen to show the cursor. You can use the outer knob to move the cursor through between the menus and the inner knob to drop down through the menu items. We want to go to fault history so we'll highlight it and hit enter on the GTC to select it. By default this will show the most recent faults from the last flight. If there's no data found you can go over to the view menu and select all from the view menu. But for now, we'll just back out and go to most recent. We've simulated a couple of faults here, flaps fail and anti-skid fail. The color and text matches what the pilot would have seen in the cockpit. If the fault is not related to a cast message, it will be blue. The most important thing is to look at the indicated cause field. In this case, we can see that flaps asymmetry fault caused the amber flaps fail cast message that the flight crew may have just squawked. It's always a good thing to move the cursor over to the page menu and select the details for the fault you are seeing. This will often give you additional parameters that were captured at the time of the fault as well as more info. In this example we can see that the left hand resolver appears to be reading too high for the selected flat position. You can also look up the particular alert ID in the aircraft maintenance manual for more troubleshooting information. You can now press home to exit and you're done. Keep in mind all the same info you see on the screen can be transmitted to Textron Aviation Linksys via Wi-Fi on the ground or immediately in flight using the optional SATCOM system. For wireless setup on the airplane refer to chapter 45 of your airplane maintenance manual and the Garmin pilot's guide. If you have questions about Linksys online tools or CMC data transmit, you can always contact Textron Aviation Linksys support at 1-844-4-LINKSYS or visit golinksys.com. Log in with your normal Textron Aviation support credentials to see your data. Thanks for watching and I hope we've shown you how easy it can be to troubleshoot a flight fault using the onboard central maintenance system.